<laughs> hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new hi please make sure to press the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber go hi you already know how much i like you please continue to like comment and share whoa welcome to my channel that has 200 subscribers what 200 people so the 200 of you are interested in what i have to say really i am so excited and thank you so much to everyone of you that has subscribed welcome to my channel if you're new you know the drill and if you are a returning subscriber bo -bo -bo -bo, thank you so much so as you can tell by the title of this video today we are prioritizing ourselves we are prioritizing our energies and keeping it for the people that are well deserving cool disclaimer before we get into this video i just want to say that the views and opinions expressed in this video are of my own i definitely don't want to come here and and drag anybody but you can have your own view that is different from mine which is absolutely okay so the opinions are of my own okay cool so let me start by telling my story i am a natural loner i believe i was born a loner i enjoy being by myself i i want to be by myself every time and it's really funny how the society has made us believe that there's something wrong with being alone as if you're going to harm yourself or anything there is absolutely nothing with wanting to be by yourself being by yourself is another form of self-care you realize so many things about yourself when you are alone it's basically it's basically you prioritizing yourself uh, i get very emotional when i hear someone say that they are strong because according to my understanding, you being strong means that you put yourself last and you prioritize other people and their needs, which I believe is quite unfair because when you put yourself last, it means that you're also putting God last because you are a representative of God in your life. I was born and raised Christian. I believe in God. To this day, I still live by His grace. You prioritizing yourself means you should start by choking your circle, the people that you surround yourself with. I had praying friends, but along our journeys, I realized that we don't have the same vision and objectives. And it's only now that I realize, Ubana, you don't necessarily need to have the same people doing what you're doing in life. But what you need rather is the people that have the same vision as you. It can't be success or anything. My spirituality and my Christianity end with me. What I mean by that is I'm really not the person to tell people to read the Bible, do this and that. I believe there are people who do that. I also try not to judge. I'm saying I try because I'm human. I try not to judge by my first impression of you. For example, if I meet a person and they are moody or anything like that, I try not to judge because I believe there are so many factors contributing to a person's behavior. You can be either going through a lot at home or there are so many things in life that worry people. And fortunately for me, I grew up in a home that has both parents in it, my siblings and everyone. I, I have experienced love at first hand. So I really try not to judge. I think that is actually why I am I'm a bit broken because I carry people's burdens with me. I put myself so much in people's situations and I just kind of feel like it's unfair right now. My problem, however, is when someone comes to me and question my faith in God, stop. There we will have a problem because I will fight you and it will escalate very quickly. The power of God is so mocked and misunderstood by the people that have never experienced it. The people that have never been delivered from hardships, depression or anything really. But the key word is prioritizing yourself. Someone said that being yourself in this day and age is very difficult. And it hit me hard because I realized how much we fear rejection because it's heavy. Yes, we fear rejection because far too often it comes from the people that are not in your life purse. It's 
it's almost impossible to be genuinely happy when you're not your genuine self i am a strong believer of a person being themselves in order for them to realize their purpose in life and if you feel like you're ro- you are alone right now it's absolutely fine the real people will show up when the real you comes to light guys i like to keep it short and simple please do like comment subscribe and all the good stuff please do follow me on my social media platforms on instagram i am malifani underscore palisa and on facebook i am palisa malifan what do they say again (laughs) my cup runneth over yes darling my cup runneth over because i am filled with the love of jesus my plans in life and everything that has to do with me the only energy that you can get is the energy that overflows my cup otherwise everything is mine <laughs> it's him now baby it's him now <laughs> Mwah, love and light